Good morning, good morning. We're back at home getting stuff done. Running into town, picking up materials. Going back home, realizing you forgot some materials. Going back into town, getting more materials. This is ridiculous already. Like, I know that I'm known for being a little bit forgetful at home, like, you know, just, but it is just kicked into overdrive. I guess because i got a lot of projects to do and I'm trying to get them all done this time while I'm at home. It's part of being a truck driver. You know, you're only at home a certain amount of time. you got to get a lot of stuff, everything done. Like, everyone else gets, you know, evenings and weekends to get their stuff done. Me, I only get the days that I'm at home to get everything done. So when I'm on the road, just obviously I can't get any of that done. So... We're getting our master bedroom all finished up and I want to get that all ready this time I'm at home so we went and bought the flooring today I went and bought uh, paint rollers paint and Britt was with me we went into town we got all this stuff we went home we're so happy we're like yay we got this stuff and a little bit stressed out but well at least we got all our stuff and I realized we don't got all the stuff and she had to go to work and I was supposed to be working in the room there all day today, but no, I gotta spend my day going back into town getting more stuff. You know, I didn't sleep well last night because I knew I had a lot of work to get done while I'm at home now, and I'm sitting there looking at the roof, you know, like, hey, am I gonna have enough time to get things done? What about this? What about this? Oh, I forgot about this. I gotta do this too. Okay, this doesn't have to get done, but if I don't do that, then this won't get done. So yes, I have to get that done. How am I gonna get this done if I don't do that? So I have to do that, but in order to do that, I have to do this first my brain just spins a million miles a minute right and then eventually I get to working and once I get to the job and to working stress goes away right because work is a stress relief to me thinking about work is stressful actual work fixes it so when I'm getting stuff done I'm being productive that's when I feel good about myself I don't like just sitting around doing nothing I don't like just sitting around thinking of all the things that need to get done and getting nothing done so I didn't sleep much last night. I just got up and wandered around for a bit and I ended up falling asleep at like six in the morning or something. I slept till 10 and then I wake up. I'm like, oh great, the whole morning's gone. Could have been working this whole time. <laughs> I'm a mess. Oh boy. But we're gonna be okay. We're having fun. Or we're gonna be having fun as soon as I get my stuff that I need. Gotta go get more stuff. So what we're doing is we re-drywalled the room, right? We were gonna reframe it. We were gonna change it all around. Change that, we just decided to re-drywall the whole room, put a new flooring in, put baseboards and crown molding in. It's gonna look really nice. The ensuite's gonna have a new floor, I think, too. And getting a new tub in there, tub surround. Everything's gonna be freshly painted. The house is gonna look great, right? We got the mighty Steinbeck traffic holding us up here now. I need a trailer like this. I like this trailer beside me on the right. Nice dump trailer like that. That would be handy. That would look really nice hooked up to my truck. Much better than that Ford. Well, that's nice. I can make use of that. So, I'm okay, just so you know, I'm okay. Playing it up a little for the vlog maybe. Sure, I'm stressed out. I'm always stressed out. That's just me. I'm just a stress bag. I never used to be. Never used to be. But here we are. Living the dream. Sometimes I just feel a little overwhelmed. And I like to just vent to my camera. So, I know I can hear your comments already. Saying you just need to chill, just calm down. I know. I know. But sometimes in those moments, I like to vent to the camera. I'm sure it's a little relatable to a lot of you. We all go through this, so I'm not saying I'm unique in this overwhelmingness. That's just life, right? That's just life. Maybe some of the young kids watch my video will be like, oh wow, I didn't know life like was like that after school. <laughs> you think you're stressed out in school now. Oh, you just wait, you just wait. Oh, it gets better, it gets better. <laughs> You wait until you have thousands and thousands of bills riding on your back every month. Got to make sure you don't miss one of them, you know? Got to keep track of everything, all of them. And there's no mom and dad around to, you know, catch you when you fall. I know my parents would probably try to help me out, but I, I refuse help. 
unless if they absolutely need it. Help is my absolute last resort to ask someone for help. Maybe I've got a little bit too much pride. Maybe I'm very stubborn. I like to think of myself as just very independent. I want to do it on my own. So that's the way I've been feeling this morning, but it'll get better, don't worry. Don't worry, I'll get home. I'm here at uh, E.G. Penner here in Steinbeck get, picking up some materials. It'll, it'll get better. As soon as I get home, I'll get in the room there, I'll start getting stuff done. As soon as I get my first little piece of project done, I'll feel 100% better. I know me. What? This guy's staring at me talking to myself. As it, don't, don't act like you don't talk to yourself. You talk to yourself. I know you do. Everyone does. I just have a camera filming me talk to myself. <laughs> he also drives a Ford. He's probably jealous. That's probably why he's looking at me. He's probably looking, oh, I wish I was driving a Chevy. Totally understand, bud. Totally understand. You should have thought of that before you bought a Ford. Now you got to live with yourself. I don't know how you do it, man. <laughs> Come on, bud. Are you going to go? No one's going to go? I'm going to go then. It was your turn over there, Mr. Ford. Fine, I'll take your turn. No one's gonna go, after you. No, I insist. After you. No, I insist. After you. No, 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 no. After you. Where to go, where to go. I'm on the lumber side. I need to go to the other side. I need to pick up my flooring. $1,100 for flooring for one bedroom. Where's this guy going? Where's this guy going? I'm sorry, bud. I don't know what I'm doing. $1,100. Woo! That better be golden flooring. Like, it seriously better be made of gold. And we got the cheap stuff, I thought. Well, not the cheapest of the cheap. It's like waterproof. Uh, laminate flooring uh, clicks together we got the stuff that's pretty easy to lay down because I don't want to spend like three days figuring out how to put the floor in so we got the we got the easier stuff to put in that's what I mean hokey dina like all <laughs> we're just renovating one room and I'm thinking to myself man this is expensive what am I building a house I think it would have been I think it would have been cheaper just to build a whole new house Renovating one room. Thousand. Come on. <laughs> they just don't give us a break. <laughs> oh, man. I think I'm going to back up to this door here. This door on the right. That's where uh, my stuff is supposed to be waiting for me. <sighs> Lovely. Lovely. Yeah, I played up a little bit for the vlog. I'm not actually that, that crazy. I am a little crazy. Let's be honest, huh? Okay, maybe I'm a little, I'm a lot crazy, okay? But that's why you watch me, right? Because I'm a very weird guy. There she is, 15 packs. That right there is $1,100. And that's all we'll say of that. $1,100. Have I told you that yet? Oh, I need to put my hat on so my mind doesn't get blown all over the place. Wow! <laughs> oh, gotta laugh. You just gotta laugh. What else can you do? It's gotta be done. It's gotta be done. Life is expensive. Children, are you listening? You don't know the half of all the things your parents do to keep a roof over your head, a floor under your feet, food in the fridge for you. Be thankful for your parents. I hope you got good parents. I was very fortunate to be to grow up with two very good parents. And I understand that not everyone else is as fortunate. But, uh, you know, parents are pretty awesome. They do a lot. I had no idea the expensive things in life you know I got a buddy he's got three kids he says like almost well, 1500 bucks a month to feed them they're like three teenage kids like 12 $1,500 to feed them every month 
Whoo! Something to look forward to. <laughs> but you never regret it. You never regret it. It's always worth it. Speaking of parenthood, Britt and I have no good news to share with you yet. Still waiting for God to give us a little bundle of joy. Uh, thank you to all you who are praying for us and sending good thoughts our way. Or... We appreciate it. It's uh, It's been a journey and since this whole uh, virus has, has popped into the world from China, uh, everything's been shut down including our fertility clinic and uh, our fertility clinic is supposed to be open for appointments, but there's only one fertility clinic in all of Manitoba, the whole province, right? And they aren't... We've never had very good customer service there. It's not covered by our Medicare, so it's not covered by our free healthcare. We pay for it. It's $600 a month. Speaking of money, everything's expensive. $600 a month. And we get better service from our free healthcare doctors when we're... Anyway, that's a different story for a different time. We, didn't, we haven't been happy with the service from there, but this month they were supposed to be open. And so when the time comes around, Britt gives them a call and she goes on these uh, uh, fertility meds and stuff. And then when the time comes, we both go in there and, uh, you know, they, they drop the boys off at the finish line. That's IUI. And they were supposed to do that this month but they don't do phone calls, they don't do in-person appointments right now. They do phone, uh, email, not even phone calls, email. So Britt emailed them and said, okay, I need to hear from you guys in the next three days or we'll have to wait a whole nother month. So emailed them, no response back, still not, it's been weeks. So we don't know what's going on. We haven't been able to get into the fertility clinic, maybe next month. It's been a bit of a frustrating journey there as well, but <laughs> as you've been gathering, from this entire vlog, all of life is frustrating and stressful. But uh, you gotta be able to manage it, all right? Just because life is stressful doesn't mean that you have to turn into a ball of anxiety and just shrivel up on the floor and shake, right? You gotta learn how to deal with this. And as you grow older, you learn that uh, it's a fact that you just gotta deal with. Lots of stuff going on all the time. Our lives go a mile a minute. And it would be so nice if there was 48 hours in one day because each day, there's not enough hours in a day to get stuff done. But I'm not complaining, not complaining. Just trying to be entertaining here for you guys. Because <laughs> I don't really have anything else to talk about today. We'll go to the house and we'll uh, we'll start working on that room. Like I said, that'll make me feel a lot better. Now that we got our flooring. Did I say it's $1,100 for one room? I think I said that already, didn't I? Just want that to soak in. You can tell I don't do this for a living or that I don't do flooring often, right? And drywall and all this stuff. Because I had no idea how expensive this stuff was. I went in there like, yeah, probably like, what, two, three hundred bucks? Gives me the bill, eleven hundred dollars. Huh? Excuse me? No, I would like a cheaper one. Shows me the cheaper one. No, okay, I better go with the better one. <laughs> I want it to last more than six months. Oh, the life of Trucker Josh. I feel that I must be kind of an interesting guy to watch from the outside view in because things just happen to me all the time. I keep forgetting things, weird things go on, I'm a weird guy to begin with. I'm glad I started filming all this to document it because I don't think anyone would believe me if I told them. I am a strange one. So thank God they still had those pieces there that I forgot. I told you that, right? I forgot our, uh, uh we bought, uh, long painting sticks with rollers and I forgot them in the yard back there when I was loading this stuff from this morning and thank god they were still sitting right where I put them down I told myself don't forget these here Josh and then I drove away and forgot them there so they were there now and nobody questioned me wondering why I was taking them I said I paid for them before and they remembered me thank goodness otherwise they'd make me pay for them again what are you doing why are you stopping right in the middle of the road, little lady? She's still stopped there. What in the world? But no, I'm not actually always like this. I'm more of a quiet guy, believe it or not, if you meet me in person. 
I think I keep most of this bottled up and then I just release it all to the camera. Britt knows me like this, she knows me, but most people probably think I'm just this quiet guy in the corner. I watch people, right? And before I become comfortable talking and hanging out with people, I usually sit back and I watch them for a while. I get to know who they are, what they're like, what they, what they like to talk about, so that when I actually go and engage with them, I have something to talk about with them and there's no awkward silences, right? right? So I was like, oh, this is probably something that they're into, this is what they're interested in, let's talk about this. I, I think it's just being observant. I observe first and then I go in for the, for the talking. When I'm on the camera, there's no one here. There's you, but I don't see you. You see me, I don't see you. So I, I guess I can just talk to you like we're best buddies. I've been doing this for too long, I think. <laughs> don't worry, I don't plan on stopping anytime soon. I think I rely on this. It's my fix. It's the way I get my opinions and my ideas out to the world. And I've made a lot of really good friends through my YouTube channel. Like all of my groomsmen at my wedding were all from YouTube, weren't they? Pretty sure. A lot of my good friends I've made, I think I've made a lot of new, a lot of good friends without YouTube, but you know, I've met a lot of people through this. And, and all of you fine people out there have, that I haven't even met yet. You're all fine, great people as well. Just haven't had the privilege of meeting you yet. You know, I'm already feeling better that I picked up the flooring because I know I'm getting stuff done now. I'm bringing it to the house. That's one step, getting one step done. It'll be at the house now. Now I don't have to go get it later. It's, it's going to be there. I was going to go in and pick it up tomorrow, but since I forgot that uh, paint roller, I had to go back today anyway. She's a professional painter. She's done it for a living before. She just had a baby. Uh, so uh, she'll bring her baby down and get to see the baby. And uh, she can... Uh, bless us with her skills of painting because I'll do as much as I can myself but it'll just be nice having someone there that I know knows what they're doing and can do it quickly and efficiently and help us so that's really nice of them really nice maybe your uh, fiance Jared will come out as well he's an awesome guy to hang out with he's an electrician I don't need any electric work done this time though but I wouldn't mind a buddy to hang out with, that's for sure. On Saturday, we're going out for Britt's birthday. It's going to be, we're going tubing down the river. I'm taking you guys with, because that's going to be fun. And on Sunday, we're going to see a swinging bridge with my family. So we're going out with her family Saturday, my family Sunday, and then Monday is back to work at the house. And then so far, I've made myself available for Tuesday. I might need to stretch that to Wednesday or Thursday, depending on how long it takes to get this house done. I want it done. Completo. Finito. Fini. No more. No more work to be done. I'm tired of uh, having a construction zone in our house. And I've got the motivation now. It's time to put it to, put it to use. Well, I haven't been filming much while I've been at home, but I've been at home for a few days. We've been very busy. Yesterday we went tubing down the river in St. Malo. That was fun. Almost died three times. <laughs> Today we're going to visit uh, my parents' campsite. My family's getting together there. And apparently we're going to go see some kind of swinging bridge or something.
is a pressure washer we're borrowing from mom and dad to wash the outside of our house because it needs it. Might wash my truck too at the same time. Might as well. So I think we're about to go to the beach here. I got a little, uh, little tiny swimming pond here that we can all go to and hang out at. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. 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 Going to the beach. So if you made it through that whole vlog, you're a pretty hardcore trucker Josh viewer. I appreciate it. I did just a lot of talking in my truck in this one, but that's the way it turned out. That's, uh, that's the way it was. I've had a lot of requests though for more home time footage and uh, not just from you guys, from my family and my wife as well. They're saying, why don't you film at home anymore? And I'm like, well, you know, I've been doing this for so many years. Like, Maybe use sort of just like a little bit of a, a break for a little while. You know, sometimes I get tired of, you know, shoving the camera in people's faces and asking them to say something, do something funny, do something exciting. So I thought that maybe it was being a little bit inconvenient. So whenever we got together as a family or with Britt's family, I've sort of kept the camera away. Now, because some people don't like to be on the camera, and they've made that very clear to me as well. So I got a little confused. Some people absolutely want nothing to do with the camera or with their face being on internet or on the internet or, or other things like that. They don't want to be a part of it. And uh, they've made that clear, like I said. So I got a little confused. I said, well, maybe it's best if I just don't film at home as much. I just film on the road more and it doesn't bother anybody that way. It's just me and Diesel in here all the time. But now everybody's telling me, well, why don't you film at home anymore? Like we miss being a part of it. So I'm gonna start doing that more often. Uh, daily vlogs at home as well. I've sort of just been doing vlogs like this or like a collection of moments from here and moments from there. I didn't want to show you the full renovation yet. We did get it done but it wasn't done by the time I left. Britt and her stepmom, Cynthia, uh, finished after I left. Uh, it was a huge collective effort uh, from Ashley, uh, Britt's cousin, from my mom and dad, from Britt's stepmom and mom. All of them helped us uh, getting this project of ours done that we're working on right now. And, uh, turned out really well but I couldn't include it in this vlog because it wasn't done then yet so next time I go home I'll give you the tour it, uh, I gotta finish up a few little finishing touches by when I get home too but yeah it was a lot of work but it got done <laughs> that's all I can tell you <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you so yeah uh, the next video will be us going back on the road and next time I'm home I'll make more of an effort to include my home time in my storyline here on my vlog as well because that seems to be what everybody wants so I can't show everybody at home not everybody in my life at home wants to be on YouTube and that's totally up to them that's uh that's totally cool all they got to do is tell me they don't want to be a part of it and that's fine but pretty much everybody else does so right Diesel more home time videos from now on how about that I'll see you guys tomorrow thanks for watching we'll get back to trucking in the next vlog